You know, I want to ask you this question because I actually asked your son this in the interview, Ruka. He told me that low key people don't know this, but you behind the scenes kind of hooked up all this with Kanye West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I played as a dope. part in that with my son. Yeah, you know. How, how did you do that? You I knew somebody who knew somebody. Yeah, I uh, know this guy Malik Malik Yusuf. No, Wait a minute, legendary Malik Youssef. They ain't just a guy now. Legendary Malik Youssef. Right. The songwriter. Yeah, that ain't just a guy now. He's a rapper, a songwriter. Right. That's, that's my man. He's a legendary man and uh, the one and only. You feel me? Yeah. And, uh, I reached out to him on Instagram. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Shit, he reached back out. You know oh. what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Malik from the city, you know what I'm saying? He's from the shot, you know, and he's legendary for real. And, yeah. Uh, Malik, you know, he reached back out to me and shit, we talked, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, man, uh, who you want me to reach out to and this and that? And, okay. you know, I was like, man, yeah, can you reach out to, you know, Jay Boogie? You know, he's another legendary, you know what I'm saying? Jay Boogie. From Chicago, Jay okay. Boogie. And, uh, you know, he said, yeah. So he reached out to him and, you know, Jay Boogie, uh, he, he hollered at Jay Boogie and Jay Boogie was like, you know, uh, you know, uh, you got paperwork on him, you know what I'm saying? Who is he? You know, because they didn't know nothing about my son mm -hmm. at the time. So he like, who is he? You know, well, Jay Boogie, he, he, he fuck with you, he fuck with, you know, industry shit. Mm -hmm. So he was like, no, nah, I ain't got no paperwork on him and. He was like, you know, his father, those nine big lads, you know, last. So he was like, yeah, he used to fuck with y'all, you know, with Kells. He was like, oh, yeah, I know that's but do you have paperwork on him? He told me. That's right. what, what he told me. And he said that, you know, then I was like, it's all good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I know I thanked him and everything, you feel me? And then uh, I'm sitting in my car north one day, you know what I'm saying? I get a text some months later. You know what I'm saying? How months like, later? It was like months later, like four, five months later after he did the GD Anthem. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when he did the GD Anthem, that shit, you know, Bubble. he caught on to it. It mm. went viral. So you know, that's when he hit my phone. He <laughs> yeah, got the text on my phone. He text my phone. He's like, man, where y'all at? Right. You know, I'm like, man, shit, you know, we're in, you know, we're in shot. What's going on? He all mad. They bully, they bully trying to get with y'all on the uh on a video call, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh yeah. So I called my son, you know, and I told my son, you know, and this this how it went. So I told my son, uh, yeah, you know, Malik trying to get up with you. Right. Uh, saying, you know, uh, Jay Booker wanna holler at you on the call. So he was with Lil Chris at the time. They was up, they was out west or something. I don't know where they was at. So uh, he was with Lil Chris. And uh, he was like, yeah, I'm with Lil Chris now. He's trying to get up with Jay Book because Lil Chris knows Jay Book too. Right. You no know, shout out to Lil Chris, you know, that's my boy. And uh, yeah, shit, that's what happened then. Mm. Uh, Malik called my son, you know what I'm saying? He called my son's phone. And uh, my son said he called him. And he was like, man, uh, yeah, fuck with your shit. Mm. And, uh, that's God. And he hit a song in the background. He said he hit a song in the background. Shit. The, the G Anthem, man. He was uh, like, man, man, make me a believer. You feel me? Uh, he put, put him on the phone. Shit. Right. Do it on the phone. You know what I'm uh, saying? You know what I'm saying? Trump should have freed Larry. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> he came out of your mouth. You know what uh, so my son said, he was like, wow. Wow. So that's how that shit happened. That's crazy. That's how he ended up at Soldier Fields. That was big. Performed the Donda and all that, bro. So that's a stadium. I'm, I'm proud of him because he never gave up. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. He kept grinding, man, and, right. and, and I lost his cousin Duck. You know what I'm saying? And, and his brother Dusky and his his little brother Scrap. Mm. You know, he just really going forward like full throttle, right. man. You know, his cousin Brick. You know, he lost, he losing the mm. people, man. So, mm. you know, yeah. So I ain't even really look at it like that. Rue lost a lot of people, huh? Yeah, he lost a lot And then crashed out. He lost a lot of people, yeah. He, he very, he very, very intelligent, man. He's mm. humble. He's a humble, 
he very humble, mm. you know, and, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, like that street shit, you know, he did that and he mm. really street, you know, he with it, you feel me? But mm. at the end of the day, no, he, he, he humble, man. He, he know what he got to do. He got to, he, he, he don't like all that dead talking to none of that, mm. you know. So he really, he real laid back. I totally get that. I get that vibe from him. I get a leader vibe from Ruka. When he speak, for some reason, I get a leader vibe from him. Yeah. For some reason. Uh, what you got coming with this man Stop It podcast? Uh, 